The worm. It's coming. Oh my god, it's huge. Paul, go get ready. What do we do? Uh, why are you here? May thy knife chip and shatter. Mommy, I'm ready. Wait, that's not a worm. Is that a popcorn bucket? I think it's some um, bookends. What do we do? Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, if you're wondering what we're doing today, we are going to be attempting to sculpt some custom bookends for a bookshelf that I do not have. Sorry. So Paige, what inspired you to do this? Dune. Dune. So if it isn't already obvious, I'm a little obsessed with Dune at the moment. And when I saw that Dark Horse Direct were making Shy Halud bookends, but also that they were $150, and also sold out. I thought, I gotta make some of those. No, I have not sculpted anything before. So uh, let's get into it. Craft hub. I wanna die. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what I'm doing here. So I kind of tried to stick to the basic supplies. Sculptors, feel free to roast me in the comments. I saw like one person online say that Sculpey 3, Sculpey III, was the way to go with polymer clay. So that's what we're going with. But I also got uh, like some basic tools. And the plan is basically to use some wire and tin foil and build this baby up because it is inspired by that Shy Halud bookend set that I already mentioned. And it's a big boy. We're making a hefty piece here. So I did do some research in order to prepare for this and it mostly consisted of watching Rachel Maxey videos. You know, I sat down with a big bowl of sketty and soaked in some knowledge. This course will help you punch ignorance in the tooth. Ignorance about sculpting the human figure at least. First thing I need to start- And uh, looking at sandworm pics online. <laughs> So, I'm feeling pretty prepared. I pulled up my reference pics and realized pretty immediately that I was in over my head, but decided to start throwing some wire and tinfoil around to hopefully get a strong shape for the sand base and the worm. I think the front bookend is done. Base wise. I did the worm and the sand kind of separately because I didn't know how to do it with them connected. <laughs> um, but I'm kind of stoked with how it turned out and it feels like something I can build on. Like it's starting to feel a little bit more doable. Okay, I'm gonna make the back half of the bookend and then I will come back to figure out what the next step is. <laughs> Dune worm. Are we seeing it? Are we seeing the vision? So I think it's time to actually pull the clay out. I'm so nervous. I think with this end, I can kind of cover the base and then cover the worm and then just kind of attach them because it it just rests on there anyway. And then I can like smooth everything out. Uh, That's the hope. Again, I don't know how to sculpt and I don't know how clay works. I think I've already made a mistake. Thank God this clay doesn't dry before you bake it because I think I'm gonna need to go do a little more research than the research that was done um, and come back to this. Okay, okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> I have done a little bit more research uh, as in I watched two more YouTube videos. And I think I have a better idea of where I'm trying to go from here. I do also understand that I have made a few mistakes in the way that I've created these bases and I don't care. I'm just gonna push forward. Yeah. worm butt. 
So I've officially run out of clay. Oops, but I have more on the way and I used the last bit of what I had to make all of these little triangles. They will kind of layer in here to be like the sand spraying out around the worm butt. I'm pretty stoked with today. Alrighty. Hi, we are back and I have just wired up a whole bunch of these little triangles so they'll be more secure now. Today, my plan is to really build out, sorry that this is a bad angle, but you'll see why in a second. My plan is to build out this one end, this one bookend, because I've been learning a lot about how I wanna do the other end differently as I go like each step of the way. So I think I'm gonna bring this pretty much to the end before I do the other side. My plan is to kind of build out the shape with all of these triangles and have that kind of like sand exploding effect. And then I am going to pray. I'm gonna pray. Just pray to a God that I don't believe in. After smooshing a bunch of clay into these spiky sand explosion bits, I rubbed the base down with isopropyl alcohol to get it really, really smooth, which actually ended up being a mistake because then I decided to add more clay for texture reasons. Oh, and uh, the new Taylor Swift album came out that day, so I was in a bit of a dark place, but I pushed through anyway. I am going to go ahead and scale these bad boys up, but I don't know if it's going to look good. This is probably the part that I'm the most nervous for because I'm actually really into this kind of indented texture that the whole worm tail has, and I really don't want to ruin it. So this might be a bad day. <laughs> Other than that though, I'm feeling super stoked about how all of the textures are turning out. So I think I'm almost done. I just have to give the scales to the worm and then smooth them both out and add the texture that I actually want them to have. To give the worm a grosser, more wormy vibe, I added spots of clay all over and then carved them into different sized wrinkles and bumps and smoothed that all out and then went back in with the isopropyl alcohol to get the butt and the base super smooth for the final time. Okay, it is officially time to add the texture to the worm. I'm so nervous. For both of them, we're going for sandy. We're going for rough. So I have some rocks and I'm hoping to like just rock them up a little bit. My sincerest apologies. I had to cut the camera immediately because I started to panic and think that this entire thing was ruined. I don't think it is though. I think I saved it. Here's what we've got so far, right? It's looking pretty sandy. It's looking rocky. I feel like it has kind of a rocky sandy texture and that's what we were going for. And now I need to do it again for the worm part. Oven just went off. I think we're gonna bake. I'm so nervous. I put our wonderful worm butt into a, a bucket and now it's time to bake. It's time to bake. Let's see what we're working with over here. You fucking got this. What do I do if it explodes? <laughs> Whatever. It's in God's hands now. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> From this angle, it almost looks like there isn't an insane mess that I've created behind me, but there is. <laughs> you also can't tell that I'm holding a baby at this very moment. 
a baby that is now very precious to me and has no legs and also no face because what I've created is a butt. Just a little butt. Okay, I'm kind of like really <laughs> into it. I'm seeing the vision. It took me a long time, but I'm seeing the vision come to life now, okay? Ah! She came out of the oven looking gorgeous. She's rock hard. Now it's time to do it all over again on the other side. <laughs> I know that at this point you're very familiar with the butt end of this little creature, but let me introduce you to the head. It is kind of a party in the front, business in the back situation. And so a few adjustments did have to be made along the way. For example, she has kind of a sand uh, bedding on the back side because if she didn't have that then she would have collapsed already. She is also uh cracking all along the back side but that is later pages problem. We're not gonna deal with that right now because frankly I don't know what there is to be done about it. But now that both pieces have been baked to perfection it's time to give them a bit of a paint job. That's what we're here to do today. Pretty quickly into priming these bad boys, I realized I wouldn't be able to reach some of the crevices, so I ended up just turning to spray paint, which I think is the preferred method for priming anyway. Then I started in on painting the worm a pretty basic brown, and the sand base this disgusting yellow that I immediately changed for a much sandier beige. I did also change the brown of the worm, but the difference is literally imperceptible. To add some dimension to our little turd friend, I made a paint wash with some black paint and far too much dish soap, and then basically dumped a bunch of it on literally everything. Then I added a few finishing touches, and our wormy friend was ready for the reveal. I'm so excited to finally be done with this project. It was much more of a journey than I expected it to be, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out in the end. Like, I think it looks like a Dune Worm bookend set, which really was the goal. I will say I learned a lot during this process, and I do think that if I were to do the same thing again, I would pretty much do it like completely differently. <laughs> Especially the painting. I know nothing about painting and have avoided it pretty much as completely and entirely as I can for my entire life because I know that I'm not good at it. And so knowing my painting abilities, I'm really happy with how it turned out. But I do think that I like did it wrong, especially the ink wash. It wasn't really an ink wash, I used paint, but the paint wash did not go how I wanted it to go, but that's okay. The thing that really got me through the painting stage with my sanity intact was actually this video series called Painting 3D Prints Tutorial Series by It's Need Made. That series was a lifesaver and basically just walked through all of the steps that I did. So I'm very grateful that I found that before I started. I was also laughing about it at the end because all of the clay that I had to buy to make these monstrosities, I'm pretty sure was around $150, which is what the original bookend cost. I could be inflating it in my mind because I just felt like I was buying endless amounts of clay, but I'm pretty sure that I like did not save money by making these myself. So yeah, I'm happy with how everything turned out in the end and it was a much bigger project than I thought it would be, but this was my very first time using polymer clay or sculpting anything at all. And it was really, really fun. I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.